What's going on guys, my name is Zach or Optic 2 Bar and this time I've got a quick tip for you guys. As you probably know I uploaded a theater mode guide the other day and here's just something to expand on that a little bit and uh, it's just a tip on getting really amazing clips to edit with using theater mode. So here I am in theater mode and this is a, a game that I saved to my vault. And so here I am and uh, I hit you know just a regular clip. And so what I'm going to do is instead of recording it at regular speed, I'm actually going to record it at 0.1 speed. So I'm going to bring the speed all the way down to 1, 0.1 rather, and then just record it normally. And you may ask, why the hell would you want to do this? Well, imagine you're editing this clip, and instead of using Twixter, you can just use the slow motion that's generated inside of theater mode. So it, look at all that slow motion. You could use this at any point. And you can just use time remapping and there's no warping. And there's just, you know, you could you could even use Twixter on top of this if you wanted to. Um, and it's just a, a really good way to get super smooth slow motion. You get super smooth motion tracking as well because there's so many frames to work with. And uh, if you have the hard drive space, because I do admit that it takes quite a bit of hard drive space to store these files because they're so long. But if you do have the hard drive space, I recommend you do them at least with clips that are like an OCE or something that you're really going to be editing in tense. So I'm just going to speed up the rest of the clip. You don't have to watch it being recorded. All right, so that's the end of the clip. And before we jump into After Effects so that I actually show you how to edit these and actually use them, I want to mention that you can actually, let, let's see if I go back here. You can actually record this thing, like I mentioned in my theater mode tutorial, you can record this without any heads up display. And look at that, look how clean that is. That's pretty damn clean. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into After Effects and I can show you guys how to effectively use these types of clips. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and like I said before, these file sizes can get very, very big. So I don't recommend you use this for like a huge montage where you have like, you know, 50 clips or something ridiculous. But it also gives you so much control in editing that it's just it's just so awesome to have. So if you don't have access to theater mode or whatever, you can actually download these files in the description. I've provided them for you to work with if you want. Otherwise, here's my clip. It is like 400 megabytes or so. And it's a pretty high quality, 60 frames a second. So make sure you're still recording at your regular settings. And uh, it's, it's 400 megabytes, so it's not too bad. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this to a new composition, just like we would for any uh, any other clip. Alright, so let's say we just treated this as a normal clip, right? We would, you know, make a new uh, main composition or something like that. Let's make it like five minutes long. And let's say we just, you know, imported it like we would a regular clip. We can see, look at this, this is three minutes, almost four minutes long just for this clip. So if you're going to go through and, you know, sync it up or something, you're working with a four minute clip. That's not fun to work with. So here comes the trick. If you go into the pre-composition, where you first dragged in the clip to the composition, and you right click on an empty space in this uh, little column here, so let's say right about here, and you right click, you go to columns, and you make sure to switch on uh, stretch. So, columns, stretch. And you want to change the stretch to 10%. So that speeds it up 10 times and from the layer in point is fine. Press OK. And remember we recorded it at 0.1 speed of the original speed. So if we speed that up 10 times, it'll it'll play back normally, right? So then we can go ahead and trim trim the comp down and maybe trim off the beginning a bit because there's a bunch of dead space. So like here. Okay, so now we've got a regular clip. It's only about 30 seconds long and it's not too bad. And the cool thing is if we take that comp and drag it into our main comp, it's a nice short clip just like normal. But if you, let's say, time remap it, it has all of the frames still loaded. So it keeps that super smooth slow motion even though we, we stretched it. So watch, you could, you know, let's see. Let's say we wanted a Twixter here at the end, but instead of using Twixter, we can just use the time remapping. And then you drag them out. And 
And let's run preview this really quick. You see, you've got super smooth slow motion. You could even drag this out even more. But uh, you should get rid of the sound because it sounds like garbage. Alright, let's preview this one last time. And remember, no Twixter, this is just a slow motion from theater mode. Look at that. And you can do cool things too, like if you go into the graph editor, you know, you could set a keyframe, go into the graph editor, and you know, mess with these handles here or whatever, and it would all look really smooth. Just because we have so many frames to work with. Look at that. You see, you can just do whatever you want. This just gives you so much more control. And like I said, the tracks are super smooth. It's just all around a better way to edit. It's 600 frames per second because it's 10 times 60 frames per second. So if it wasn't for the huge file sizes, I would recommend everyone use this all the time. But like I said, file sizes can get pretty huge. So you may want to be careful with that. So hopefully you guys will use this tip. Maybe in addition to my theater mode tutorial that I uploaded a few days ago. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave the link in the description and on the screen. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. That helps me out a lot. I will catch you guys in the next video.